all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Ooh, 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 I love that. Welcome back to episode 23 of Five Star Sodas. We're here once again to taste more lovely, beautiful ginger. Nick, how are you doing? Good. Ow. Just can't wait to sample that lovely, beautiful ginger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big descriptive bath. I know, I feel like... <laughs> so descriptive. I, I feel like I should have, we should have something that we actually say at the start, but yeah. we just start and the only thing I know I'm going to say is it, whatever the episode yeah, number is, yeah. that's all I've got. So but it works for the intro. Well, you've your adjective bag there. <laughs> that was good. Man. What was the adjective bag? Lovely and beautiful. Lovely oh, beautiful. and beautiful. And ginger. Okay. Ginger is very What was the other names? There's ginger, juice. Jag. Jag. Where else? Soda. What was one Jim said? Remember he put them in the fucking, like, uh, ah. the YouTube thing? One of them was like, uh, maybe it was ginger, I don't know. Ginger's a pure old school hint. Ah, yeah, we've, we've, we've done that. We've, uh, aye. I kind of think any of them more. Ginger's too real, man. Jeg is probably. No, I, it's, I feel weird though sometimes when I'm like writing mm. social media posts and I have to write soda. Because I'm never going into a shop and say, what sodas you got? Ever. You're it's... getting thrown out of a shop in Glasgow. I don't even think, that. respectively, we refer to soda together. We may be doing now, but only because we've. I feel like we only, I only really do it on this kind of. Uh, but it's kind of, but it's when people started calling sneakers like. Do, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. would just be like that's ah, American but now it's part of like the ah, yeah. idea what did you call sneakers before just trainers trainers yeah. trainees trainees trainers trainees kicks gutties no Gut. kicks kicks is in that sneakers like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I always thought guys is a wee bit weird guys is definitely guys in there with sannies uh, oh, I, no I, I, sans, I feel like sannies and gutties is, I was like that's like this pure slip on shoes you wore for PE when you were a kid and those things are gutties, shocking and gutties for me is definitely like the Adidas um, Sambas and all that yeah, that's yeah, yeah I suppose I, I used to get or like just your Beatles man you know yeah. the Beatles the Beatles I'd get in trouble with school for not wearing Sanchez for not wearing I just wear trainers and like they'd always be like that to my mum like wait, wait like buy them Sanchez they're mm. cheaper than the trainers yeah, mum's yeah. like it's nothing to do with like he won't wear them and if yeah. he does wear them he'll kick fuck out of them and then I'll be buying them weekly like ah, I just yeah. buy one good pair of trainers and we'll do them I know, but that was that's no because one time I forgot and it was I had Reebok pumps and I was flexing and I was like, I'll file these on because, like, what are you going to do? And uh, so you you stand in a queue for pee and you walk down, obviously, it's just like these black plimsolls, and then just like, and she's like, What are you doing? I was like, I forgot them. And that's you used to get like a roasting for these things, aye, but it's mostly because, like. It just made every other kid in the class feel inferior. I mean, the, plus, I was getting buckets, man. Like, they, like, they had no ankle support. I don't know if this is. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know if this is like. Uh, I don't really know if this is me making this up, but I'm almost positive that like at PE, but it wouldn't have really been PE because it's primary school. But like gym, actually, it was called gym. gym eh? Um, we would see if you. Like, I never happened to me, but I remember kids that never had PE kit, mm. and they were made to do it, and they're like. Yeah. What's well, weird to see the school? I was fucked in it, man. Imagine doing it a vest and like a vest and uh, like boxers. The girls' PE kit was like wee weird high cut tight shorts. A guy designed that. Ah, was that a guy designed that. That's so good. The thing I remember about PE and it, it actually is a, a Lemmy sketch. It's a wee Gary sketch where wee Gary's like, what you're about to do is like. You take one ah, one sand each, yeah, and yeah. then it's more plausible. You get a wee bit. Of, you don't get as hard a time if you're ah. like, oh, this one sand shoe's ah. gone missing, rather than just be the guy who never well, packed. What's that? Mate? Like just. I, but that I, came. I remember doing that and being like, the best thing I can do here is like, just hide if I wanted to. But uh, to be fair, Jim was like, it was a highlight. Yeah, I, I was going to say like Especially I, if you're I have rounders like, with a tennis racket. Two or three stories, all f involving PE hangs that are like. Just on a varying scale of like, that's quite mental. That's even more mental. The I don't believe you, Nick. Start with the I don't believe you. Cause... <laughs> well, I'll run through the other two really quick. First one, first time I've ever seen like someone do the pure flamethrower with like a lighter in the... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, and yeah, like yeah. set a boy in fire. high school <laughs> pee, <laughs> like, set, set like a, one yeah. of the pure wee guys, like pure like quiet guys or like set them on fire, man. <laughs> <laughs> had to run out of the shells, probably like, had the thing. This that's, is, and that's not the unbelievable well, one. I do believe that because we went. Other one was the Bams in my year had a hustle where they would go to Clinton Cards, they would bump all the South Park key rings, which were like big, like uh, yeah, vinyl yeah, yeah, South yeah. Park characters, and then sell them. Mm. But like pro business, like what's this called? Had a David wee tick sheet 
this is where they would do it. They'd do it and oh. just like, because no teachers were meant to be able to allow it in. It's genius. And man. then, I actually need a fucking diagram for this, I think, but like, my school. All right, fuck it, I'll do it. For those listening, Start on, the the show, podcast, the for those listening on the podcast, go get yourself a cup of tea and come back. And a bit of paper needs to go. This will take picture. a second, hold on. So, you're going to need a. Uh, you're gonna to need to watch on YouTube if you this want to from actually memory, see the man. Just click on the audio. This isn't like this isn't this isn't like an architectural drawing. This is really isn't a, okay. <laughs> thank God. So you're not tapping into graphic Just communication up. here. How the so far all this? we've got is a rectangle. So yeah. I'm not entirely sure. He's regretting saying he yep, needed yep, a diagram yep. big time. Something Especially like that. knowing that I was sitting okay. there with a sharpie and a bit of paper. Right. Jeez. Something like that from memory quickly. Right, so right. I'm just going to tap that on our close up camera and uh, we can, there we go. You can maybe get I can show, I can talk to you this, right? So, so we've got is, four, this is four, four men. We've got four men's, men's boys changing rooms at, in the high school. Mm -hmm. S is the shivers. The shivers connected all the changing rooms. Okay. Right? Makes sense. Like, communal. <sighs> Andrew Aitken. Oh, big Andy, man. Callum Fine. McLean. Oh, friends. Sea dog. Friends, actual friends oh. in my friend group. Thick as thieves. For some too. reason, the friend group decided they're too friendly. Let's make them fight. <laughs> so for weeks, like the UFC built this shit up. I like Did this. you hear what Andy said about you, Cam? Uh, the whole way through. Sorry, not Callum McLean, Matthew McLean. Oh, Callum McLean's a hairdresser. Anyway. <laughs> Matthew no, McLean, Matthew McLean, <laughs> Matthew McLean, and Andrew Aiken, right? Built the fight up. <laughs> got to the fight. But if you get who would who would be considered the Dana White of this? Who was really pushing the promo on this? You've got a name, Gordon Clannikin. I knew it would Fucking be Clannikin. God, oh man, oh. Clanny was the he was the Clanny and Paddy for the oh. job. Anyway, I was in amongst it. I would probably say I was like, I was like the other for Tita. Nah, I was behind the scenes Sean, pulling the strings. Sean Shelby. Sean Shelby asked me. Anyway, so. They do that. I'm doing this with the pen now. Um, right. They, we, so we, let me just caveat this by saying they weren't like the pure popular boys. Like it was, they were only the Bams. Mm. Popular, but not Bammy. Right. Aye. But the, ba the Bams But the Bams are, the are in. This I, is, this is third year. Everyone's still at The Bams are in there. I can already tell the Bams are the ones that are like, let's make these wee guys fight. We got them in, right? Aye. Into the showers. It's on. Mm -hmm. And the Bams like that. If you don't fight, we're going to punch fuck at ease. <laughs> Bang, it's on. Now, third year PE, maybe second year. It was, a, it was one of the PE classes where it's like everyone Everybody's was doing there. PE, yep. right? Sold out arena. It was. Mm. It was a fight club. PPV. Mm. Everyone. Whoa, 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 go back broke, to this. Broke the first rule. Go back to, go back to the close-up, <laughs> right? Close right. Up. If you can imagine, right, every door from this leads into this. It's mad we back. barricaded the it's doors. The, it's the Teradome. Two men in, one uh, man one. leaves. Starts. KJ. What are the the bams like that? Get the fucking shovels on. <laughs> shovels on, right? right? Every boy in fucking PA point is in here getting fucking soaked. Now it gets to the point where Matthew's like, I don't want to, like, I, I've got nothing against him. I don't want to fight him. And Andy goes, like, ah, fucking headbutt. It's on. <laughs> what it's an fucking on. That's so bold. And he tries to walk away and someone just shoves him. And this is like cinematic. It's like finish him. <laughs> See, as he gets shoved back into the fight, Matthew's right. trying to escape, gets shoved back into the fight, he throws a, he throws a punch mm. as he's been shoved. Mm. Puts Andy right straight down on the floor, man. Now, it may have been because the floor's wet, mm. but his, like, the weight of him falling and hitting him smacked him down. They fought bloody. We all had blood on us. Mental. <laughs> the teachers had to kick. I don't believe you. <laughs> the, teachers, the teachers had to kick, like, try and, like, kick the doors, like, through it ended up coming in through two took a change room two mm -hmm. took about four of the like the male PE teachers to push us all out of the way see just as a teacher who's like just at a job clock now, wild he just comes he's like what the f why uh, what so much paperwork I I I something though, right? this. See why did you even put everybody <laughs> <laughs> why see as someone who's like to try to be a director and Do you ever films, feel like it does make me think like the perfect thing for a film for a, I go back to my school, school. Yeah. Uh, shoot it there Ned's too but don't you think there's like some? Don't you think there's just an element of like one of these guys who was probably a bampot who's now in a loving homosexual Jail. relationship oh, at no. that point was just like injecting a wee bit of homoeroticism <laughs> in? He's like, Thomas Shelton. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Shelton. Who said that? He's always like, what? He's like, there'll be, there'll be a laugh. <laughs> 
But anyway, <laughs> no, the, actually, to, talking about gym, so that that kind of takes us on to keeping fat, and we've obviously got the weight loss challenge. Yeah, I, I, I let the side down this week. I put on zero point four pounds. Oh, I did. Um, but I mean, I'd, let's I'd, just call it as half a pound. I tanned Hunnels of juice this week. I was, I was. Just drinking loads of juice. Well, you hit me up the other day going, I'm going to Glencrest. Want right, something? I'm like, don't fucking sabotage yeah. me. Yeah. I've had, like, in the past week, I've had maybe four cans of Rock Shandy, four bottles of Gerito, Mexican Cola, the good stuff. The That's good all stuff. right, as long as you're not eating food. Ah, <laughs> it's really just... ah liquid diet. Yeah. That's mad. Yeah. I've like... looked, and I didn't do anything else. Oh, you are. But still, still in general, though, as a, as a team, still 0.7%. I'm fucking leading the charge, down. man. I'm, I'm three He's... pounds down from. I've from always down one. from week two though. I believe two because I only did one pound last week. We didn't do, we didn't disclose this. I need to start seeing pictures of your scales. Not Why? Because be, no, me and Andy have put photos <laughs> in and, and you're not. All oh, so right. There's no, no trust. Because you usually get these like the fancy scales. Like mine is like, mine is like from the strongman competitions. It's like I go on mine is like ding. <laughs> what did your missus like? Like do you sell? It's like kitchen <laughs> she scales. She, she has to put weights on. No, she holds a towel above them. Ah, that's right. it. Are you doing the fucking, are you holding the towel at DC? I'm leaning on it. But well, I think three pounds down don't feel that much better for it but yeah, the numbers I, don't lie I think in total I'm still I'm, I'm still down but I was off to a slow much. start but I'm four down now four uh, from the jump from the jump well, I was strong. one down from the first week so and then five three down in, in oh no three. four in total that's good though well, I'm actually technically I've not been to the bath I didn't go to the bathroom this morning so <laughs> I could I and I was like there. I was like point one so like I'm let's call it what it is I'm probably five down oh I like that that's good though yeah. I mean, it's steady. I'm still like, fasting. I, but that's what I was about to say, because obviously I, just, I, can, I can see your phone going there. I'm get, I've got a red put on the... Where's my camera? Do you see that? Yeah, I can 25 see. 25 hours. 20. 20. 20 21. Hours. Nearly 21. It'll be so, 21 if we keep this ramble up. No, let's break them. <laughs> <laughs> 21. Tan all the juice. Let's yeah, go out. Pull something out. No, but I can... What's, what's your tactic, though? Because I'm, I'm not really doing anything. Just trying to eat stop eating crap. food. Um, not to be stop honest... Stop having fun. I'll be honest, maybe this is not what the public want to hear. See between... The show and the show, I'm not really drinking soda. Oh, see, I'm I'm just trying to not eat as much. Uh, crap. I am, but it's the same soda I drink every the, day. The DC, DCs, man. Yeah. I'll well, be, you need the thing is you need one. First of all, one soda leads to another. It may not happen straight after, but the game next day, it's a game it's a t-shirt. Uh, one it's soda leads to another. One soda leads to another, and also it's just not as sort what of, your it's sort of like soda? empty calories. You're really you're you're consuming the calories, and you're not really getting. You're getting kind of short-lived energy, and then you're getting yeah wasted no calories, nutritional value. But hold on, like uh, you need your, to be a bit and that. Just it. you touch on something there, like gateway soda. Gateway what is soda. like what is a soda you drank that wasn't like the pure regulars that was like oh, this is this isn't Coke, this isn't Fanta. What they got me into like oh, I don't know, mate. To be honest, Fenimans. Fenimans. Well, this, oh, okay. Um, the first thing I'd, I think it was, I don't know. That's maybe a see. Mexican I think Coke. Dr. Yeah. I think Dr. Pepper was, was like hard to exotic? come by yeah, yeah, yeah. oh that's just this I looks remember, like Coke but it isn't Coke I'm sure it was me and you I remember the first time me and you went to Dennis's Dennis and Barbecue and Dennis's had, Barbecue and Dennis's Barbecue <laughs> next door to Dennis and Barbecue and uh, they had Virgil's I think we had Virgil's yes. there and I was like I had black cherry I was like whatever this is we need to get this yeah man. no I mean I definitely like, we need to find somewhere it's not 450 a ball <laughs> I had a uh, Curiosity Cola was like where I started. Nah, they want to do different clothes, but mm. then probably traveling and I had Fritz Cola in Germany. And then mm. you go to America, you always get yeah. the weird and wonderful things. So, I mean, I've always liked it. But let's, let's we're going to, off where are we going some, first? Something that none of us have ever had. Where are we going? South Africa. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. No, I'm, say, I'm saying South Africa. I should actually. Oh, it says product of the Coca Cola company. Oh, does it? Didn't he, didn't he notice that? Uh, right, so this is manufactured in South Africa. Yeah, this is like another Inca. But wait, mm. but wait, you, it? It, it does say South Africa on it, but you put up a post on the Instagram and it yes, listed on it. it. Um, and it, it listed it as Zimbabwe. So I think it's all Southern African countries that do it. And the interesting thing on that post that you put up, the wee description of what this was. It's says It says cream soda. What so it? Sparletta Sparberry. But apparently, apparently it's a cream soda. So I mean, I've no idea what a sparkly is meant to be. Is it not maybe strawberry cream soda? No, because we've got this same brand, strawberry flavor. So and it's a it's a oh. very similar can. So you've maybe seen both. Ah. Of them. But no, this is this is meant. I like to be the face on it. I do like that, but there's a few things going on. So first of all, the bottom it says low kilojoule or kilojoule. What does that mean? Right, it's calories. Now, yeah, but usually on a British can, you have kilojoules, and then below and you have calories. calories. This only has kilojoules, so 180 kilojoules is. For the 300 mil, what is a 300 mil can? The calories is less than that considerably. 
because sometimes people pick things up and they go, this is get this, and I'm like, that's kilojoules, not calories. Ah, right. But, so calories is less than kilojoules? Yes. But right. it's still got 10... 10 grams of 10 sugar. Grams no, of it's still, sugar. So what I don't understand is like... Maybe they just don't... They just... Like, you see the calorie thing is they're not usually kcal. Yeah, but that, so it's like, that's, a, that's a government requirement for, for what we've got. So like kcal is calorie, but on... On something else, it'll say Hold it'll on. still have kilojoules. Can I, is there one something oh, flying around? We can A B this one. Let's, let's see. So, <coughs> oh, we bit of math. We bit so of fast. Eighty-four math. kilojoules is uh-huh. twenty calories. So this is hundred and eighty kilojoules. So, so it's, it's probably about. It's about fifty calories. It's only we had producers with fucking calculators up the back somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? um, Feel free to chime so in, guys. That's my only concern is that, that this might be a wee bit not sweet enough. Fuck. Let's get into it. Let's get. Let's get. Take that fast. You should do yours on your wee camera. Hey. Up here. Oh, he's, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, he's, he's made it to 21 hours on the fast. You, you were running interference. I was fucking running interference. I tell you something, it smells sweet. It smells kind of like bubble gum. Right. You, and I'm definitely Be- not hitting until I sip it. Before I, before I taste this, oh. my my sense of smells went weird recently and I'm getting COVID. Kind of, aye, it's definitely a post COVID thing. I That's definitely get like kind of That's what I chemically things on the nose, bubble gum. And it smells a lot of my smells are like cigarette smoke. <laughs> to be honest, that's all I can smell. So, Mate, see, since you said that, I feel like I could smell cigarette smoke like the week after. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? He's past his weird COVID X Men. So you, do you, you, you still feel you're a wee bit off on the nose? Just the smell. On just the, the smell. Tastes fine. Yeah, I'm going to twenty one. Clock out of that. That was good innings. Interesting. Weird. That's weird. That's it's. It's not a cream soda. As nah. a fuck. No, it's not cream soda. It's at all. more like a. It's like bubblegum. It's like bubblegum. It's mm. been modeled, I mean, let's modeled be after a sweet or a, a bubblegum. Bubble 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 gum. Gum. That's like, exactly what it is. It's red. It's bubblegum juice. That is the synthetic flavorings of See, a 12 year old Hubba Bubba. It starts off quite sweet, but then it mellows out to you know that it's artificially sweetened. Like with sugar and non nutritive sweeteners. It's, it's not. Done, yeah. Nah, it's not. It's not great. It's a wee bit. I don't hate it, but it's nah. not complex enough to actually have Aye, to, like need my attention any more than that. Um, um, I don't even know what to say about it. It's, it's, it's I'll I'll say what I need to say about it. It's average. So it's if you want a bubble yeah. gum, let me let's put it this way: is a bubble gum soda ever going to be good? No, no. Therefore, but it's not as this. But what it is, it's is not it offensive? Isn't that's not offensive. No. Exactly. So there you it's go. Not, two point three. It's not offensive. It's two point three for me, because it's never. It's kind of reached the heights. Who the fuck likes bubblegum flavor? Yeah, I'm. I'm coming in two. Two flat. Two, two flat. It's, point it's zero flat. For Andy. It's flat. For uh, me. It's really not dancing. I probably. No, it's probably the right side of two. I'll give it a two point one. That's how we do it. I don't want to disrespect him because I feel like he's he's not that enemy. And to me. we do we've got a few of this brand Sparletta. Mm. I don't know if that is like a pure cheap drink, but it is Coca Cola. Nah, I debate that. I debate that. Up there. Mm. That's like that'll be a high sell. I'll tell you why. Once we get the score, I'll tell you for why the, the score for Sparletta, uh, Sparberry, is two point one. Okay, right. 2.1. Here's why, because in Epcot. From the post that I did, yeah, I can't remember what it's called. It's called Club S- Cool, Club Cool Soda World. I remember going in; it was kind of polar bear themed when I went when I was younger, yeah. and it was like a big fridge you were basically walking through. And I remember, and it had those like if you ever none of these like Tesco or something. Sure, yeah, I mean. see the freezers when you open the door; mm. it'd have these like weird big plastic yeah, things yeah, that yeah, you push yeah. through. Oh, it was things flaps, like that. Yeah, so you yeah. push through the flaps, you go around, eventually get to a bit where it was like. From memory, it felt like a big room, circle room or something. You, oh, you do different drinks for around the world. And what are they? All Coca Cola, no all draft. draft, draft. Right, okay. But, but it was unlimited. Coca Cola sponsors this thing. Yeah, yeah. unlimited. Okay. You just keep. And you this just... is one of them. Yep. This is one. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, like oh, one, okay. one of the most famous ones is called Beverly from Italy, uh, but it's like an aperitif, and it is supposed to be disgusting, like absolutely. Well, bad. the story about aperitifs. Or or, uh, or may it be that in Italy, because living is so good, mm. and usually you do aperitivo around about five six o'clock, it's many like medicinally get the belly ready for like all the food that's mm. to come. But it's also maybe like a wee tongue in cheek thing and be like, ah, look, you're gonna have some good times tonight. 
Because it would be bad bitter to like it's, even that out. Trash, yeah. I mean, I've never had it. I didn't. I've never been to Club Cool at Epcot. Uh, I've missed it. And Sparbury's probably like an Apple TV because it's setting us up for a good show, but it's also a bit like mm, I never. I don't remember this. Don't Epcot. That. See, I knew it was there, but never since I was in the sodas. To be honest, like when See, I went, you could miss it. Like it was. Yeah. It's it actually one of those things we get at a theme park, and it's like pure. Yeah. You'd like say like Alton Towers, and you're like it'd be like the CBBS bit or something, yeah. and it'd be like. Mm, that's mm. just going to try and sell me on some But the bullshit. post you put up was actually saying that, because Club Cool closed like yeah. maybe a few years ago. Well, the I mean, post you put up is back this summer. Whoa. Um, if mean, only someday it was going to Disneyland this no, year. Hopefully. 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 Yeah. Uh, Not I mean, me. If I get to go on the 20th of September, it's the first thing I'm doing. I'll be doing my own personal live stream. Although, if we were talking about, the the good thing about the show is you get to travel yeah. somewhat with tasting all these drinks, but like, I've been looking at Maybe try to break out in October holidays. Try and do something mental. I was looking at like somewhere like Hong Kong or something. Mm. And I was like, well, I basically got British Airways things to get out yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. I was like, maybe like the maybe I could do that and go hit the, the Hong Kong Disney or something. Aye. Have you well, seen the, Nintendo World? I was just about oh, to say that's that. Nintendo like, World. That's, that needs its own trip though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Five stars so does Japan. Well, Mate, would you convince the wives? Well, weirdly, because when I text Jenny to say, look, Club, Cool, <coughs> Club Cool's opening at Epcot again, the first thing she says, oh, you could do a wee live stream for five stars over there. And then her next, messi- whipped, her next message was, Al and Nick aren't coming. Right. <laughs> so, uh, aye. Whipped. Unwhipped. Aye. Well, we just make our own way there and just do a wee... A few hamps. You just bump in the meat cute, yeah. <laughs> but the, uh, we have actually been talking about our own wee... Uh, Excursion. Our own wee trip going to do Alton Towers. If they get soda there. And it is... I don't know, actually. No, so we would never done it on tells last time, which I'd quite like to do. So this we went to Alton tells what? Uh, a year and two, and a half year, ago. two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. Well, time flies, guys. Yeah. When you're in a pandemic. Hi. When you're when you're married. Make that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you're. Uh, I don't think we really sampled enough shite food down there. I think we. Had, well, I tell I you something. I had, I had my fix because I was still vegetarian, and we went to that burger. What that, did you like, have? We went the to like, unbranded. No, they made me like. Like a pure Findus veggie oh, yeah. thing with like peas hanging out it. We had like pure fried chicken. I remember, like, I remember having a pure fried chicken Gross. for breakfast. But thing I, I think remember. like I think the thing about hotels is quite a lot of the. There must be some like food store that are like you know like people travel yeah. to do shit like this. Yeah, and like I don't know. I, I feel like surely they must be good for the scale back a wee bit. They used to have some. Let me bra- tell you. Let me tell you stuff. why. I went. To, I went. To, uh, what's the safari? Park. Blair Drummond. Drummond. Oh, yeah, Blair Park. Drummond. I'm going there in a couple of weeks. I'll tell you. So when it was proposed to me, mm. hey, we're going to go to Blair Drummond and meet my like hanging around with my family and have a barbecue. I was like, this sounds ridiculous. <laughs> like, why the fuck would we go to a safari park to do that? There's ample back gardens to use. But then I got there and realized there's like a whole barbecue. Yeah. Pit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like mm. picnic benches. They come and light it all for you. I was like, oh, this makes sense. Anyway, because we're there, still done the safari. But. Uh, one of the people I was there with was like, when's the last time we were Blair Drummond? And I was like, I've been once with primary school. What are you mm. talking about? Fucking, I'm not from Stirling. I don't go every week. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, they were like, you need to hit the donuts. I was okay. like, what's the deal with the donuts? And like, they make fresh donuts here and they're dope. What was it? Like OG fried ones? Ah, money. Yeah, that's so good. That's like and the- I made the mistake because I was like, I'm a, I'm a grown up. I have donuts at 11 o'clock in the morning. No mm. bother. Got them. I was like, these are great. Great. Quite thin though, but I was like, these are great. One of the people are with, she's like, ah, you fucked up. You should have went later on the day when the when the oil was hotter. Uh, I was like, what's the deal? She comes back, gets donuts for everyone. I'm talking like 20 donuts. Things were like massive. Popped thick. up, Jack. I was like, Phew. you still ate them, don't you? I had both. Ah, that's, that's, close, right, man. Yeah. that's why we had to start the weight loss challenge. I mean, <laughs> fucking donuts at fucking so that's the, that's the sleeper snack if you go to Blade Robin. But that's what I'm what saying. Surely Owen Tills has like a popcorn or something. Man. It uh, might maybe have something. Um, a crepe. Are we crepe. miss? I mean, since the last one, if we want to get into the weeds, is there? There's not really been any rides either, has there? No. No. no, 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 they, no, no. What was the last? Oh, the Wicker Man was the big Wicker one. Wicker Man. Was, Wicker good, Man was good though. That was that a good was ride. Cracking, yeah. Surely, when the theme parks closed for a year and a half, that would have been a great time. Like getting and like ride. paint hangs and well, yeah. I well, I mean, I know they did that at Disney. Like, probably they, didn't they? Yeah. They painted the castle and all that. It's all different colours. But it is Disney's 50th anniversary this year, so... When you hang on to us, I'll just, like, fucking speculate, accumulate, guys. Come on. I, I mean, speculation is... Is it going to be it's sunny? It's expensive, man. I said... these things. I, ain't, I, I well, ain't Actually, talking about on tells, right? And this actually the same ride, Smiler, right? Mm. I'd said to you in the group chat, 
if we're going to own tells, I'm hitting the platinum pass. And mm. if anyone was listening to the show before they realised that that's where I fell over the thing, try to like jump yeah, the queue, get a first mile. Ride, man. So I'm like, I'm paying the extra forty quid and just going on smiler all day. And I said, I'm going to go on smiler until I lose a limb. It was my joke. Yikes! But then last night, man, I had my niece over, mm. and I was like, I wonder what it'd be like if I put on like one of these like VR things for like a ride. As I put, it's a small world, and just ah. stood it in front of like Potatoes. she's tiny, yeah, so like yeah. it's like standing in front of like a massive screen. And she wasn't interested. Do and then my brother what, went like this. What VR thing? Uh, no, it's not. I just, just a like, POV. Just have you ever just like? Have you, so you can't even strapped in an Oculus. <laughs> or a have, you seen, like, the, have you ever seen that thing where it's like the little girl sitting in a uh, like a laundry basket and like they're oh, watching yeah, the thing? Yeah, yeah. The dad's making it. The He's thing. moving it. So yeah. I was just like sitting her at the computer monitor, showing her like this is model, just to see if she would ban it. Mm. Um, because I was showing her a photograph of herself to see if she even. When you see a dog looking in a mirror, can I? Did they know her? <laughs> did they are they aware yet? Anyway, my brother's like, I put smiler on. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, people die on that, right? She's like, lay, lay her down the line. She's like, I hate roller coasters. I've never been on one, but I just, I, I just <laughs> hate them. So funny. But anyway, smiler, I, that was the one we probably went on the most. That's the one that Neil went, I'm done for the day. Uh, he, <laughs> see, to be honest, that point. I'm, and I wasn't on my best because I'd came straight from work and we drove down. I was shattered, but. No excuses, but that was an excuse. But that's the first ride I've ever been on in my life that's of a, that's not just like a carnival ride. I think carnival rides are just designed to make you feel well. That's the first ride where I go, it's a bit, it's a bit much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas like Wicker Man is like, it's a, it's, it's a buzz and oblivion and all that's a buzz, mm. but what's, Smiler what's, is like almost like taking the piss. What's man. the fast, what's the one that's kind of launch? Uh, Rita, Queen ah, of yeah, Speed. Rita, Queen of Speed, yeah, yeah. I mean, they were all good. I'm, I'm a fan of roller coasters. I'm looking forward to going down, so hopefully... We'll, we'll, make, we'll do some content while we're down there and see if we can find uh, any, we'll get any some, good juice. Some, uh, uh, maybe there's some, maybe they have some... Uh, we'll take some with us. Maybe we need to hit the gift juice. shops as well. Maybe there's some branded... What have you brought? Right. So, now, we've done this brand a couple of times before. We're kind of like suckers for this, by the way. We're always doing like the same brands. But, I mean, now, we've done this brand before. Uladag Fruity Extra. This is a Mandarin flavour. Again, flavor. it looks but like... Fucking chewing gum ring. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. we when we did this the first time, it was the, the lime flavour. Mm. Um and we we rated it. We thought it was good. I think it was. But then we had yeah. the the weird clear bottle that was kind of a bit classier and it was just like lemonade. Mm -hmm. And it was it was rubbish. It wasn't very good at all. So I brought the Mandarin. Mandarin No. Ma no, Mandarin has notoriously not done well on the show. Mandarin. No, no. Well, we, we the boilings fell short, and then we looked I, at the ingredients, and it was heavy it was mandarin. mandarin. So this mandarin? is, I mean, this yeah. is. Have I even had mandarin? We're playing fast and loose with the with the date here as well. Are we? Uh, when do you yeah. know when you've had a mandarin? Or Seventh of May. When what's the the fifteenth today? Thirteenth. Thirteenth. Ah, we're fine. No, we're fine. But I'm saying like. We need some, to, something to bear in mind. We need to tan some of these drinks back. Well, <laughs> I'll say we did a four of these bottles. We did a four of these bottles of the mm -hmm. Oladag Fruity Extra. Mm -hmm. uh, we've only got three left because I already So I already let's them. see the close up of this. Right. For the people listening, if anyone even listens to this anymore. The. That is the exact same fucking typeface. And it, also, the, the other extra. chewing gum is called Extra. Aye. Yeah. What is going on here? What is going on here? Is this Wrigley's own juice? So where is this from again? We, we talked about uh, well, it before. Well, weirdly, this, this one and the lime one was from Turkey, mm. but the other one we had was from Uzbekistan. Mm. So mm. there's a difference there. But let's, let's get in. I was going to say... Oh, we're not going in yet. What, see this kind of bottle? Yeah. It reminds me of like a pure hotel or something. Uh, it's like yeah, the Strathmore yeah. Hotel yeah, yeah, yeah. water. So 24 grams of sugar though as well, so... Let them know. I feel like this doesn't... These I. We should do more ASMR on this. I'm not it, is it carbonated? Like, yeah, is it yeah. good? Liam's in, Liam's in the headphones right now and I'm asked. That's pretty good, isn't it? I love it. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's much better than the boilings. Mm. To me, can that's I, what an orange should be. Kind of fishy. Literally fishy. It's a bit. Or as in, it's... A bit sea. Sea? It's <laughs> like a sea urchin. At the back. Back of the tongue. Remember, I'm the professional palate guy. <clears throat> I nice. won't lie to you. Up front, front of the tongue, all of that, that is Mandarin. That is... Up the back? Up the back. Sea bass. Funky. Haddock. I'm not getting any I'm not getting any fish nah, at all. It's fish, no fish in this for me. You were talking about giving Liam the, the Reaper. The Reaper chili in a sandwich. 
Have you probably <laughs> are we well, fucking bit of sardine in this? Are we fishing that? And we can't do that to Liam now, you just blew the pound. <laughs> Fuck, fucked it. It's kind of like Liam, I don't want you to tell him. All right, maybe. Mm. Mm. There is still some dancing on the back, it's not right. It's aquamarine. Are we fish dancing up the back? It's an aquamarine biologist. Hey, it's not so much a fish, it's maybe a guy that works with fish. <laughs> a guy yeah, that's Maybe the guy who fish. bottled it had a fish supper for his dinner. The oh, night his before. wife works the, the fish counter. Does it not make you like see for like something is all it doesn't really quench your thirst. Do you think so? I think, the I think that's I, yeah, I think absolutely. that's absolutely that's a hot summer day. Get a chilled bottle of that, and that's dynamite. Have you ever heard this thing of like when you're eating orange? Mm. Stay away for the pith. The pith. What is the, um, what's the pith? It's like the kind of white bit. Ah. The rain. The, if you fuck with that, it's going to be bitter. Okay. Or weird. Right. Maybe there's a bit too much pith in me. That's possible. Oh, were you saying pith? It sounded like you are saying fish, but you're like, pith. <laughs> <laughs> it was fish with a pH. I went pith and then I caught a pith. Fish pith. It was a fish with a pH. This is it some is. theory, man. It's just it's a, it's a basic fruity drink. I like it. I like it. it. And I don't, I, I'd go as far nah. as, I'd no, go as, far as got, recommending it. It's a fish in his back. I think you get COVID. Or did you eat fish? <laughs> last did you night? Fish not eat anything. <laughs> it's the first thing in my body. That's bullshit. Maybe that's the problem. Aye. Maybe you need a palate settler. I like fish though. So you like it? <laughs> so I give it a four point five. <laughs> nah, that's... I, I, I like it. I'm giving it a three point four. I recommend that. <laughs> I, I think that's. Yeah. I think that's good. It's fucking nuts. It's kind of. It's not. Three point four. It's it's not heading for the 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 big leagues, but. It's, what league is it in there? It's good. It's in the maybe five sides. I don't know Sunday. what the leagues are. I division. Mean, that's, that's championship for me. Oh, it's division one. Cha- championship. Yeah, but I mean championship, Premiership, Champions League. I'm there you go. A fan over this bullshit. Anyway. No, do you know what? It's it's de- it's above a three because if somebody was like, "Is that any use?" I would go. Oh, it's good. So yeah, yeah. I'll give it. In fact, I'll give it a three point three. We need to teach Colin to be able to look back and like tell us our scores from previous. So you can do that. Can you? Why do you? No, no, no. no. Why do you need can. to know I just this? seen her eyes go. <gasps> <laughs> Why do you need? What, like, what, what are you, what are you score from know? the heart? I, no, it's not for me. It's for you. I you want to know what you scored, like Fanta Lemon and Fanta Orange and all these things. We've not done them. All other orange drinks. You're don't worry about us, mate. Just you worry about I'm worried about you. 2.1. But, oh, Greg. 2.1. 2. 2. It's 2. not 1. that good. I'm all good. I had this Barbary before that. That's fine. That's your prerogative. That's not That's why we need a triple fill at least. That's fucking. Bubblegum? I'm picking bubblegum flavour over this weird mandarin thing. There's nothing weird about it. It's just a, a man, it's pure just average. a mandarin thing. It's pure average. So, score That's accordingly. I think gave it 2.1. 2.1. 2. 2. 2. 2. 1. 1. Fair enough. So, Uladang, fruity man. extra mandarin, scores a 2.9. Fair 2. enough. 2.9. The reaper just Actually. dragging its <laughs> shit down. <laughs> the fucking fishy reaper. <laughs> I like it, man. I'm, the freeper. I think it's good. Right, so you didn't like that. Now, and that, that kind of digs me on to my next point. So earlier, earlier on this week, I got asked if I would be interested in doing a skydive for charity. Mm-hmm. And immediately I was like, not a fucking chance. Zero chance. So then you thought, I'll phone Nick and see if he see wants if he to do a skydive. And I said, no not a fucking, fucking chance. Danger. And, but then it kind of got me, I was talking to Jenny about it later, and it was, we got to talking about what would it take for you to do the skydive? Like, mm-hmm. what would it take? And it was like, we got in and said, right, for a million pounds. Would you, would, you do a, would you do the skydive for a million pounds? <sighs> like, well, we'll just I do to, a lot just, of things for money. So that, just to be clear, that's not fair. I was already said he would do it. Oh, so you just put me in. So he would actually just do it. Like, so I'm not going to ask him for the million. For, without, a, for a, a mil. Without getting out of like, that game of what would you do for money, I'd probably like... <laughs> I, I've already spent <laughs> did, did the money. Did you play in, that game? It's in the shows. <laughs> I've, already <laughs> spent, I've already spent that money, do you know what I mean? So I'd probably do quite a lot of things. The, but the point the is, shop. what would I do? What would, what would make me do it? If someone could go like this... Here's you doing it, mm. and then like here is the future. You know, really landed, aye. Aye. and it's cool. I'd be like, aye, okay, aye. But that's the whole point. That's, no, I don't want the, that. Why would I want to feel like I might die? Yeah, that that's the fear from. That's why I don't want to do it. Because like, take the, my hand in my life every time I hit the M8. Oh, fucking yeah, but, there. but you don't. It's not like you you don't drive down the M8 like. Oh no. Like, See after like. So how how is your brain rational? It's just that it's irrational. No, it's not because more people crash their cars and get injured today than like fell out of skydiving and that. Right, but I imagine don't know if that's the thing, right with skydiving. Right, imagine I don't know the, if the facts are right with skydiving. Hold on, if you ask a guy to skydiving place, look, out of thirty, how many people make it back? Well, He's like, let's let's look that figure up, Courtney. Let's see. 
What is skydiving? Skydiving. Skydiving. Death Ray. Right. I'm not like 2018. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. It was quiet and this guy's. I'm not saying it's super super dangerous. It's quite mental. But what I'm trying to get is, imagine all of that. Oh, Nick's dead. Oh, how did I? Jumped out a plane like that. Well, fuck it. Go fuck yourself. Right. That's, it's, it took uh, his life uh, in uh, his uh, own hands. Just, go, oh, so, how did he die? He fell down the stairs. Go. Oh, all right. Here's another thing. Right. Let me just uh, let me just put this to you. You're like this. Like you're the you're the you're the skydiver. I'm like, ah, hi, Mister Skydiver. He's like, hello, Nick. And I'm like, all right. Um, we're gonna jump out a plane today. He's like, yes, we are. I'm like, how many times have you done this? And he's like, every day for the last ten years. And I'm like, how do I know that? How do I know? Well, it's like, well, a name like Mr. Skydiver. <laughs> what what other business would I start? You know what I mean? I'm one of the most legit. You don't fact, know the guy. I would be like, did you, you know on? that Skydiving's named after me and not the other way around? What if the light of his wife left him the night before? I don't have a wife. I'm just a mad skydiving bastard. I had a wife, but she wouldn't let me skydive. Skydiver was a good one. <laughs> so like five or not? So the, the fatality rate for skydiving is one in every hundred thousand. There you go. Yeah, but I mean, I don't That's know. Com- one. Compare that. To, compare that to what's a car crash? What's your What's your fatality rate for driving? Well, a lot, right? Fatality. But like, put it this way, right? Just let's get out of there. You're you're at the El Clasico, Real Madrid versus Barcelona, mm. and the guy goes there and so, and one of you guys is going to die from a skydive, and it's like, all right, cool. One, still one person in that stadium. Died so, from jumping out. You plane. could happily look around that stadium, go, ah, don't mind if it's that guy, don't mind if it's that guy. He wanna sit down, he's shouting to like, Right, I don't say. mind if it's you. So that's fine. <laughs> that's not true. So for every yeah. for every so at least yeah, when you hit the true. deck, they don't it's not like the fire brigade have to come and cut you out, they just go like that. No, he's he's just dead. He's for every done. billion miles travelled in a car, uh-huh. there's 1.6 deaths on the road in the UK. That, see, that's a that's a mad stat though. How did they even that's get like that? <laughs> that's not the same thing. That's just going, how many people were killed on roads? In a year. What do you think the most dangerous city is for driving? In terms of like people getting run, crashed. People I mean, getting hit oh, with cars. Like, and you, like, are... you, you know you've seen... No, no, no like no, Britain. Like... In Britain. In Britain. Big, or London. Must be. Or Birmingham. Mm, London, maybe. Aye, people must Probably, be getting... Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's, you... a, it's a numbers game. So one in 20,000 is the risk of dying in a car crash. That's and it. one in 100,000 for skydive. But what do you think is like, during London... People don't drive a lot of... A lot of traffic. Not I mean, a you've, you've got a lot movement. of like, yeah, I mean, a lot of cyclists probably. Aye, that's, that's what I was about to say. You got a lot of that. You got a lot of cyclists dying. But then I mean, like, in like when I was in India, I was. I, I mean, I'm fine. I was holding on to the. Have you been in India? I was. I've been in India. I had to be bring on the podcast. <laughs> uh, no, I was going to say you're going to be somewhere like India, Tokyo, somewhere where there's some like very mad. little rules. I and like there's that there's that um, motorway is it China and it goes from like sixty four lanes down to four to go through a toll. And then sixty four lanes, sixty four lanes what wide. The fuck. And have you, have your money? Toll. Have your money ready? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then it goes. So weird, yeah, it? It's mental. Um, See, yeah. in general, just a random question. Maybe we we'll experience this for a all time. Not a side bar, I suppose. See, in general, mm. toll roads, mm. are they quicker? Oh, like the M6 aye. toll? Uh, like a toll. I've aye. only done it once or twice and there's no one on it, aye. And I don't know if that's because it's not that quicker and everyone just keeps See, going See, the last road. time I went to Canada, it was leisurely. The Jordan texted me saying, when you, got, when you get your bags, text me or call me and I'll pull up. Mm. And I was like, all right. And I was like, that's kind of mad that you can just pull up. Like, because obviously you can't do it at Glasgow. Phone him. He's like, right, I'm on my way. I'll be like, I'm in it. So I walk out of the airport. He pulls into a bay, which is like designated to him that he's like sorted out and like paid a couple of quid for. Mm. Bay five. He's like, I'm in bay five. I walk terminal. in bay five. At the fucking right, front okay. door. Jump in. And then we've got the pure three-hour drive to Kingston. Mm. And he, I've arrived at like 5 p.m. on like a Thursday. So it's like fucking slammed. Like yeah. the motorway. But we get on to the 401, I think it is. And the... Uh, before we go into that, he takes us other road. And I was like, what's this? And he's like, oh, this is the new road. Like, it's like a toll road. But there's no toll stations. They just scan your reggie. Aye. And oh, then yeah, bill yeah. you. Like, just, you just yeah, got a yeah, bill yeah. through the door kind of thing. Yeah. I was like, that's, I'm always paying for that. If they would, see if they were yeah. like that. They do that here now though with those ones. Kingston yeah. Bridge, there's another wee bridge, you pay a fiver, you go over it and they bother. And I'm like, fuck, I'd just sign me up. Season pass. You get that. I mean, you've seen that a lot in America. Yeah. And you get the wee easy pass. It's a wee code that goes in your windshield, and it just means you can drive through them. It's like the stone cars yeah. in the Simpsons. You know, Homer takes. I, the I got to a toll. I got to a toll in America, 
And Cavalier says Stone Cold's none of even Simpsons drift. Just even Sorry. just gave Sorry. it in, man. How good is the Stone Cold's episode? It's the best. Don't really remember. I've not watched The Simpsons in maybe. It's like the Masons. That's why Steve Gutenberg's a star. Um no. just throw you. That's a Uber. That's a meta reference. Uh -huh. That's part of the song. Uh no, I got I remember getting a toll booth with with Dougie and it was late. And it was like we were leaving the motorway and it must have been like we must have went through a toll when this is like the other side of the Aye. toll was like, Oh, thanks for coming up this road. This pay America. The, pay the piper, yeah, it was like Pennsylvania. And uh we were like coming off the exit to go to this like Snyder Hotel and uh <laughs> pay the tolls, but I mean see we a name like that, we should never have booked it. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't have any cash or whatever it was, and we lied to the it guy was a like, cash app. It was something like that, and the guy was like, "You can't come through then." I was like, "Well, obviously we need to get through." <laughs> Would you want me to do reverse in the motorway? And we actually had to like, well, just like listen, just listen to us. We're maniacs. Listen to the voice. Like I'm like, we're just going to that hotel to stay, and I walk back over. Yeah. And I end up, and he's like, and he's like, t writing down all this stuff, all this information, the car and all that. And I was like, and I went to the hotel, and I literally had to like walk. Which is much further back than I thought, and you're like cross, like Aye. climbing over the pure. Uh, what would you call those things? The barriers and shit. And I'm like, there you go. And he was just like, he was like, he's like, almost didn't say it. And I'm just like, I, I came good on my word. That, that guy pocketed that money. Ah, he there's was no just. Way, there's no way that was. Getting, do you know the thing? Was, see when I woke still up, still an <laughs> APB for you in Pennsylvania. <laughs> see when I woke up the next day, Tobuf is gone. <laughs> 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 he's just like a tourist trap just imagine he's just doing that it's like because it was literally like you see in the older movies like this is a beer box and the guy like you put a he's like nah sorry man you could literally just went run it ah he was just like but you know we still what... never really got to the what would you do for a million pound no what's, what's, where's your limit where's your limit like oh, come well on. this isn't the extra you're, you're kind of getting into this thing of like it, you really in, in the day to day life you don't want to do a skydive no. so is a million pound enough so I mean like I don't know. I mean, it's like I guess it is a bit like that. I'm a celebrity. Like yeah. if somebody was like, "Would you? Are you gonna like eat something disgusting as a milli?" So you you're scared of spiders, and you said you'd hold a tarantula for, for a, a milli. Aye. Would you eat the live tarantula for a milli? Um, is that a thing? Or nah, people uh, eat spiders. Say it's no good. I mean, it's not going to kill you. Well, there's a lot of things like people put it in their mouth and it comes back out or something no, like you're that. Gonna, you're going oh, to eat it. You've got to chew it. You're killing it um, as you chew it. It's a million pounds. Ah, for a million. Buy yourself a new fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> or you could at least you could at least take enough like drugs to just go. Ah, maybe no, maybe you need that spider. Like, no, I need drugs. Need <laughs> drugs. You, yeah, just you just need got, you got to spend a million on therapy. Well, why are you going to fall off that yacht? I'm just like, what? See the thing is, and this this seems so stupid, but. It's one of these things we go at. A million's not that much though. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. depending on what kind of house you want to buy, you're you're you know, it's not like you've your problems are money's not everything. It's not <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'd say. You go last to me, where's the for a million? I'm scared of the fucking seagulls, birds, that kind of thing. <laughs> right. In fact, you go right now, a seagull. It is fucking seagull mating season down and they all hang about the clade down at mine. And the, I swear to god, there's some fucking it's almost like student night for all these seagulls <laughs> they're fucking uh, everywhere in the DJ sky oh, everywhere in the sky like I, you look up it's a fucking it's blanket a of fucking down there. seagulls right yeah. and they're just fucking weird like f hovering f squawking fucking nonsense man every time I walk underneath or run underneath it, I'm just like <laughs> run I, I'm just like I can't do this but see with those things so you're like that I'm going to put you in a cage it's all seagulls and you just need to be in there for 10 minutes and then you got a million I'd be like but then I'll spend, I'll have to spend that million in fucking therapy to fucking so, try and forget you it. So you've so got to be in, in this room this, with one okay. seagull. Nope. <laughs> For a million. But, nope. but see, to be honest, like, okay. I'll tell you what would have to happen. You'd go like this. For a million, you, V the seagull, in the, the octagon, no, in, the, in, the in the school in showers. The school shower. And you give me, like, you know, like, <laughs> my fucking... money's on a seagull, man. <laughs> you give me, like, the, what do you call it? Like a... You know, like an ice lolly fucking wooden stick that's all you've got that's, that's all your got. only weapon wait, wait, I'll wait, take wait. my chances showers on showers off showers on <laughs> obviously because that's that's you're getting into see now you know who the guy was it's like ah, put the showers on <laughs> <in the box. laughs> always showers on come on let's get another drink right okay okay let's do it we're going we're going actually a wee bit old school I, I, feel, I feel this is old what school, anyway. old school? <laughs> what is that it's the Rubicon Dawn that's what they call me so this guy has shocking score the last time we've had Rubicon on before and it was Ruby, was it Mango it was mango. It yep. was Rubicon mango. And this is. We're going with lychee. I think I brought up lychee. I can't believe you put the pure shake can in the, the, the close up. We will. They're all shake. What's it? I've got a bash one. Yeah, you go. No, I don't want the bash can. 
That's yours now, definitely. <laughs> Am I right in saying that the... Yoink. Are you going for the, the, the John Dorian three-tap method? Ah, yeah, this, what do you mean? That is well, the let's, foolproof method. Well, that is not... Let's talk about that. Why is that? That is not going to fizz up now. Three-tap method. Oh, but this will, doesn't fizz will. up anyway. No, it does. It's not. Right, was this not one of the ones that you did before? Is that you shake it, shake it, shake it? No, that's way? Red Bull. If you shake a can of Red Bull, shake the shit out and open it, it'll be fine. Is this so, going to so fizz? Do we think this will go on a fizz? Shake it again, then do the three taps if you're so fucking no, proud. No, I've, I've done the shake. I've done a vigorous nah, nah, shake. Nah, 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 that was nah, a vigorous nah, nah. shake I gave it. I've done it. Six Reset tap. the fucking shake. That was See? never, that was never, for, I could have shook that up again. I so could, hold on. That, is this one of these ones you just shake and it doesn't open? Let's well, find it. My fuck. <laughs> so hold it. Right, wait, wait, wait. Do it again. Do it again. Let's see the method. No, let Andy do it. All right, okay, okay. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get it in. No, no, get it in the, the close up cam. So we're wanting this. We've done the three tap. Mental. No, that doesn't work every time, man. Do it, man. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, not ah, you. Okay. I'm not crazy. You. So last time we had the mango, and we agreed that the mango, sh- the mango should stay mango, just yeah, yeah, yeah. still. And see the the still lychee in a small carton. I'm a fan. G- but I- do you know what? See, just what we we're talking about mango. Do you remember the the massa that we brought? That wasn't a fizzy. Yeah, yeah. That was dynamite. That was so good. That was good. But anyway, lychee, Rubicon lychee. It's a like floor cleaner. It smells like floor cleaner. It tastes like vegan floor cleaner. <laughs> you know the kind of stuff it's like. Vegan floor cleaner? You know the kind of shit it's, it's called method. Uh, method diet. It's just like, man. I clean my floors with that shit. But now they really. Because I eat animals. But when it comes to, like, I treat myself when it comes the to. The method stuff smells good, though. That's. Uh, that's... So we, we need to touch on this. So is, is, is lychee a non-starter for you guys or do you fuck with a lychee? Oh, sorry, do you, how often are you eating lychees? I fuck with a lychee heavy. You, so you just jump in? Well, Whole Foods back in the day. I, don't think <laughs> I, think, I mean, we're talking years ago. I don't think I've ever heard of Are lychee. you hitting Victoria Road, jumping in what? an ethnic they put uh, some under the the store for me. and being like, yo, saw me out some lychees? I mean, I would. I eat a lychee. I don't I'm think I've ever... For a million. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a lychee in my life. Have I you can't ever, even tell you what a lychee looks I've like. I've eaten one, but I, I mean, I've, I've never went and bought one. It's because some somebody had one. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a bus. And I seen this guy in a wee bag and I was like, what you got there? It's, like, it's just lychees. Like, can I get one? <laughs> I don't know why, but it's, it's the only time I've... I, I don't think I've ever bought any of these mad fruits. Dragon fruit, all these things. Like, I'm not a big fruit person. Somebody else had it and I was like, well, I'll sample that. I'm I'm not a big fruit person. Like, I don't Case eat in fruit. point, probably small fruit. Pomegranate. First time I had pomegranate, it was a uh, uh, old friend Jody that had the pomegranate. She's eating it. She's like, "Oh, superfood." That's like fifteen years ago. Before she probably invented superfoods. She's like, "Superfood." I was like, "What do you do with it?" She's like, "You just eat round the wee seed." And I was like, that's "There's effort. nothing in that." That's effort. That's like eating peanut a- eating so she's chocolate like, around a peanut m M&M. She's like doing that and a tiny little pomegranate seeds. Was, I mean, then years later, I'm like just crunching the seeds and be like, well, come on. You're, who the fuck is like eating just to be See, now that I've let that better? settle, it's not that bad. Mm. Take it on drink The It's slow cleaner. It's just not great. I don't mind the taste of lychee and I don't mind the taste of lychee drink. And see the still in the carton, I, I, I've been fucking with that for, from... This for, is better than the mango. Mm, yeah, mm. yeah, it's not. I don't think it's like. Weirdly, there's still a bit of a mango taste to it, and maybe I'm thinking mm, the mango taste, taste is a Rubicon taste. It's a weird maybe there's taste, just a Rubicon base flavour, and then they add some of the fruit juice to it. I don't know. Uh, Quite an all right, we better sugar. I'm done now. I'm going I'll go one point nine. I say probably two point. Just Do you know what I think? Four, it's like two point four. The pro- I don't have any problem with it it's just like it can't score high you're just... not inviting it to your house are you for no long? that's the thing it's like I like it I just don't like it a lot why would you even use it I don't other know. than cleaning your floors <laughs> it's probably I'll give it a 2.2 just out of respect for the culture of lychees across the world I, I mean so that's just for the lychee not for the Rubicon lychee but this is just so that, right we're not scoring just like the we're mango this just like no no drink. just like the mango you get mango juice and they, they carbonate it that's what it is this is yeah. So I like the still one. You carbonate it. I like it a wee bit less, but it's not. It's not offending me. It's the anyway. same thing. Rubicon That's what I'm lychee saying. scores a two point two, and maybe Colin could do a wee search on the document. Let's see what Rubicon mango got. I'd be interested to see what mango got. 
I like how you went and searched the documents, so she'd be like, so, on the thing, document, search, document, search. <laughs> She's been a help and just wrote search, document. Press Command F. Everything. Press Command F. The wee, the wee paper. Why are we hiding? Wee, just as I don't know how. <laughs> Command F. The, the wee uh, paperclip guy pops up. Looks like you're searching for the Rubicon Mango School. <laughs> the paperclip, mind him. Clippy. Is that his name? Uh, I think it was. Was it? Is it not a bit in the office when uh, Michael phones for help and he's like, I, "Did there not used to be a guy?" No, is it not when Jim's trying to do the rundown, <coughs> trying to make a rundown? He's like, "Did there not used to be a thing in the software that's a ah, paper clip yeah. that can I help you?" I'm trying to write a heartwarming rom com. No, we got it yet? What? Huh? One point eight. Heartwarming rom com plug in. One point eight Rubicon Mango. So I mean, finished tile well, than Rubicon Mango, sense. which is probably right. What makes two point two. Makes sense. Makes there sense. You go. This is up, man. I mean, it, 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 to me, Rubicon no, was still a pure thing that you didn't you got back in school. Mm. Like that's kind of when it maybe came out. Mm. When did when did Rubicon had, launch? When I when did it? We know. know I remember we, we did a deep dive. My most vivid Coca Cola guys. My most vivid of Rubicon was back and I said in the mid. Uh, wait, whoa, whoa! You said Coca Cola guys. Rubicon Pepsi. Summer Care. Ruby, sorry, <laughs> Rubicon Summer Care. It's Rubicon Consumer Care. <laughs> summer Care. Ag Bar. No, we yeah, we talked this. about yeah, this. Sorry, yeah, yeah, but the so guys were Coca Cola. Coca -Cola. Yeah, yeah, so how have I done this? So you part of this podcast a bit. I, I just sometimes I forget things. Um, Doing too many fucking quizzes, man. I, but I feel Quiz like, you on your own podcast. I feel that that's um, that's when that came out when I was in like high school. I nineteen eighty one Rubicon was launched. Probably so, was. I don't remember I never drinking sampled this until that fucking mid two thousand thing in the yeah. park. The I, mailer. Before I started at Carbon, I would go into Newsbox and they would have Rubicon on deck, man. And I would get. You're some, just saying things for the old world, man. Get some Carbon edgy. Newsbox. <laughs> Talking about. <laughs> Should there be Newsboxes <laughs> left after was, COVID? I, I was actually in East Kilbride Shopping Centre yesterday, and they've got. A oh, they've got Newsbox. What the yeah, fuck yeah. are you doing in there? Uh, I was on my way back from Livingston. I was picking up dinner. So, uh, talking about East Kilbride Town Centre, where the fuck is the food shops there? No, anymore? in the shopping centre. What was in the shopping centre? Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. I was uh, going to say because uh, you know times are hard for the high street. <laughs> shop, shop local. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, will talk about old school. <laughs> shop at your local Nando's. <laughs> things that things that don't things that don't happen. So pranks in school. Everybody had the oh, the top pranks, oh, and one baby. of these kind of touched on what we were talking about earlier about gym teachers, and this was actually it wasn't in my year. I will be talking about stuff that we did, but the mm. year after I left high school. It made the front pages of the newspapers a lot because the six years paraded through the playgrounds with these two big like bed sheets. Right. Uh, we uh, just yeah. given to Macy AMSR. Spoiler. That's the bed sheet. Yeah. Um, bed sheets, and one of them said um, Amos, which was the new head teacher that started after uh, I left. Amos loves the Bobby, mm. and Libby. Oh, was, who was the Bobby? She was. I don't know. And Libby, she was head of six. That was Mister Livingston, who was a PE teacher. Uh, Livy is a pedo. <laughs> just walking through the school with these big massive and I remember it was the Daily Record ran the story on it and it was like um, Paisley Grammar School pupils expelled over offensive signs whole big story on it not saying what the signs are mm. but then two big massive pictures of the signs like just amazing <laughs> it was just so good so wait, were you involved in that prank? no that was the year after I left but it was the one I always remember is that a prank or is that just it's mental? Just mental that's yeah. just crazy the one that, it's like a protest the one that we did when I was leaving so in my school we had uh, a big of the assembly hall mm. but then we had a balcony going round it and then a balcony above that as well right. and they're going across the first like, school King's Deal <laughs> it was Hogwarts um, they, there was like ban uh, pillars went across it so what we did was uh, I would get kinder egg toys tie them onto like fishing line or thread tie them onto the balcony like low down so as you can see it and then throw it over the the mm. the the bits of wood that were going across. Yeah, so yeah. these kinder egg toys just hung no, in the assembly hall. You couldn't reach them. You That's couldn't amazing. get them down. And we'd do it like uh, at stairwells and all that. We maybe had about 100, 150 of them oh, all over the school, man. Prank to come up with. It's good. Okay. It's, it's actually do do that sitting there eating your fucking cheese and onion squares. Like, I, I, don't think, do. I don't think it was a thought process of like, we should do that. I think we done it once and we're like, we just kept doing it. It kind of sounds like street art, Andy. <laughs> I mean, it's banks. Eh? Mine was the uh, the one I, that came to mind there for me was there was did you have in school like at like the a shower that was no, in the middle? <laughs> they met like a missed like a a married couple teachers. No, no, I don't think so. This is it's just context. Is Mister and Mrs. Bringen? Mister Bringen was a chemistry teacher. Mrs. Bringen was a physics teacher. Jeez. Fucking 
honestly the worst since I said come fucking yeah. worst. He's a chemistry teacher, <laughs> but she's in physics. But honestly, it's man, the Brighams. It's the fucking assholes. Anyway, they were like Nazis at the school. Anyway, so she thought <laughs> little do the pupils know they were actually Nazis. <laughs> they it's like Cobra. What something. could go wrong? Um and don't get me started on Amos. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Brown goes like that. April Fools. Nick, go and get a long stand. Or go and ask for a you long have stand. April Fools at the start. <laughs> <laughs> I go and do it. I go with a teacher. I'm like, can I have a long stand? And they'll be like, I kind of knew what was going on, but the teacher that asked for it was like, I don't get, what do you mean? <laughs> and then I was like, all right, you know the stands that hold like the test tubes when you're doing like Benson yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. I was like, give me one of them. Conceivably, a long stand. Oh, mate, there you the go. System. Come back in with it. I'm like, there you go. She's like, what's that? She's like, you've been away for half an hour and you've brought back this big metal stand. What are you doing? You went, you want to have a long stand? Mm. She's obviously forgot her own joke at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, take it back. And I was like, no. Take it back. No. Nicholas, take it back. I'm not taking it back. Mr. Afchin, take it back. I'm not you asked for it, I'm not taking it back. Oh, big cough. She takes it back. I'm ah. like, I'm like, I'm gonna put your chair in the lift because there's a lift right outside yes. our door. Here's my big prank. Yes. I'll put the chair in the lift. Do do do. We're on the first floor, put the chair on the lift, hit it the third floor. Oh, what a prank. As I do that, I'm like. And a prank would be if I go up to the third floor and take it out of the lift. <laughs> then it kind of come back. Mm. Run in, do that, come back, beat her back. She's like, That's my... a risky move. She's That's like, Where's my move. chair? I'm like, Oh, disappeared. I wouldn't have done that. That's making it obvious that you know where it is. If you do magic, fucking <laughs> magic hands. Well, obviously, I, don't, I can't actually remember what happened, but what happened in that point, but what actually happened was so out of my control. She goes, No, double physics. She goes, physics man. find my chair I'm like I, I don't know what it is I left it in the third floor it's fucking vanished <laughs> oh, classic do you know who had it who? the Janis they were like they commandeered it because like, <laughs> it was her big leather oh, they did, like, quality, I, the I went to the I went to a teacher and said I need to find a chair that I fucking planked and she, they go ask the Jani maybe he's found it the Janis bit was actually down at the PE hall you go in and it was like a wee cupboard he was sitting, sitting on, it. on it and you're like <laughs> Man, I need to get that chair. My teacher's like, what chair? It's my chair. <laughs> That's what he is, mate. Uh, he never gave me back. <laughs> That's mental. I had to go and the Janice got it and she's like, and she's like, oh, fuss, it's gone then. It's gone. Uh, we'll get it back for the Janny. Uh, Janny's rolled the roost, man. Uh, Do you know any, what I'm saying? Any school pranks for you? I don't know, I mean, I could probably think of some, I probably think of something. I mean, there's obviously like textbook, like, can we get like, ASMR out of your brain? Like, Going yeah, back in time. Flat. Is it in no, the main you can, palace? You can no, it's right up front. No, but like did you main garden? You would just continually unscrew the top of the salt in the thing ah. and then everybody would just wait and then some noob what would just, what just, no, just loosen the salt shaker, be like a communal salt shaker. So you'd come off the checkout, go over and salt your stuff and every day, every day, and then people just like ah and that's the worst part. It's not that you've got salt in your chips, it's the fact that so you will just still laughing so much like when you drop your dinner on the floor aye you would do this knowing fine well your mum was over there working hard making the chips you would <sighs> make them up that's no respect she taught it <laughs> she taught it well I've like, never done it but see when I've seen people doing it I just stand up like rap it <laughs> <laughs> my mum's over there making oh, me oh, chips and like, you fucking disrespect Nick. the cuisine <laughs> I, I don't know if we talked about it before, but we used to. Did you just have hunger? I think my mum done it to a couple of We've done it like three episodes. Oh, hunger right, buster. Okay, let's not talk about it. Let's not go into hunger buster. Then we've done that. Nah, nah, nah. I don't know. I can't the really hunger, think of any the epic hunger pranks. buster cheeseburger was dope. Aye, I, I mean, but it's the same as any then again burger van burger now. Did I ever tell you the spud gun no. story? No. <laughs> this is that's not so much a prank because it got out of hand, right? <laughs> well, walking to school we used to be a couple of guys. I used to do like we carry. So we're walking to school. <laughs> Just me, Maxwell, James Watt, and Andy. And uh, no, so I lose, I lose my voice. I'll, on, I'll, dip in, I'll dip in and out. I'll be the narrator and then I'll yeah, ah, right, okay. character. What is this one? So the anyway, there's like we would we would four of us walk to school every morning. We just lived close, it's just like hook up and walk. We'd get walking up and uh, Stuart Maxwell's like here, peep, peep game. I got a spud gun. The thing was like tiny. And I was like oh, the red one. Aye, I was like, this what is this if you're nineteen fifties man? Like, I was, what is this? And obviously he's got a potato in his pocket. And he's like, puts the hang in, he's like, ping, I'm like, we then. <laughs> and it wasn't like swat, it was just like, here, stop shooting potato at me. 
So we would cut through our old primary school's playground. It was textbook. It was like the, the diagonal across that playground. There was no problem with doing that. You went there like, and we would just breeze through. So we're going through that morning and uh, Maxwell, he's pat, he's got the heat on him, man. And he, he sees this kid. Uh, I can't remember the kid's name, but the brother was in our ears, Brat, some, Bryson or something. Had the wee brother. And he comes up and he's, he's like close to him. And... <laughs> And Stuart, Stuart Maxwell just goes like that. <laughs> Say goodbye, wee man. <laughs> <laughs> and he just he just clicks the, the spud gun, it hits him in the face. But this week and we kinda just walked on, but the wee guy in that moment was like, oh, and he ran away and we we're like, that's hilarious. <laughs> but he obviously just ran from there straight in and was like lock stock. So I was like, I've been shot. <laughs> and they were like, slow down, slow down, what's happened? He's like, Stuart Maxwell shot me. <laughs> <laughs> And right, so we next thing we get in high school, we'll go through Reggie, get a first period, and someone comes through. <laughs> someone comes through the door. Is I was in tech or something. They're like, okay, I give Alan Bannerman. He's going to Mr. Forest's office, and and the teachers comes over and they say, oh, you need to go see the office. I was like, and I never was in trouble. And in theory, I didn't shoot anybody, so I was just like, I was like, that's kind of good. I was like, somebody's dead. Uh-huh. I was like, this is no, I never get called out. So I go over there, it's like way in another block, you know, these big old high schools. I get over the thing and it's like this long corridor. At the end of the corridor is the headmaster's office. I turn the corner and I'm going to, I think I'm just going to like the office window with the, with the plastic. When I turn the corner. We got it. We got it. <laughs> Stuart Maxwell's there. Oh, come on. James Watt, the whole squad. And I was like, is this related to the spud gun? By <laughs> That's not we got it. So I was like, what's going on? And they were like, ah, right. <laughs> so Stuart, he's like the ringleader. He's like, He's got a different voice, obviously. But they'll just he's like, right, let's get a story. He's like, <laughs> so good. He was like, get rid of the gun. I was like, <laughs> I went, I went, what do you mean? Uh, he went, I've just, I went, I, on the way over here, I just flung in a bush. And I went like, all right, cool. And he was like, so what's the fucking story here? He was like, we'll just, we'll just go at When they go like that, this happened. Just everybody go at No, never. <laughs> that was the theory. They left us out there for about 20 minutes. Then homeboy, I've never been in front of the headmaster list. Homeboy opens the door and he just goes like that. So that, that, that'll that be enough time for you to think you've got your story straight. And I was like, <laughs> gulp. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, this ain't your first rodeo, is it? Marches the four is in. This is the strategy. That's why the guy was a G. He goes like to me. He just looks, he looks him down. He goes like, you, points at me. He goes like, I don't know who you are. I've never seen you in here before. So I know you won't lie to me. I was like, gulp. <laughs> And then he just hits in and they were like, ah, you, sh- you shot this kid. And, and like, he just ground us down to the point where he was like, it was like, Stuart went for going like, ah, this never happened to rationalise. Go like, just a bit of a tail for fuck's sake. Like, chill. <laughs> I was like, that child thought he'd been shot. So what the, the, the consequence, fuck's sake. we were barred from crossing that playground. Ah. So I'm sure 10 minutes on the ah. journey. And I was just like, your lesson, though, didn't you? mate, I mean, you, you, you do the crime. You do the time, do you know exactly. what I mean? <laughs> That's like that bit in like yeah, Derry Girls, where she's like, she did it, miss, she did it, and then it goes like, I think we all agree here, there'll be lots of a little bit of respect for you for that. <laughs> that was it, man. It was like, it was like, it was like, if somebody's going to grass, it's you. But the, the, the thing I always thought was, I imagined that that was my only real encounter with the top brass. And I thought, see when people go like that in uh, high school, uh, films, American stuff like that, that's on your permanent record. Imagine they had the filing cabinet and it's like that, six year, whatever it was. There wasn't a six year, we were younger than that. But it was like, and they pull this thing out and they're like, let's just check your file. And they're going through it, it's just an like, empty sheet of A4 and about three quarters of the way down, it just says, the spud gun incident. <laughs> and as they're just like, do you deploy the firearm at a child? I'm just like, it's, it wasn't, no. <laughs> No lad, there's no place for you at Oxford or Cambridge, son. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The spud guns are mad though. Like, who came up with that idea? It like, seems like it's a great t- idea. Uh, I'm not, but I think about it like, I mean, they were they were like old toys, like it's way from, like, like, yeah, yeah, the fif- yeah, yeah. like yep. way back to the fifties. Yeah. Ever use an apple? Uh, but that's the thing. I mean, like, yeah. just pear. Take a wee bit of food and pear gun. Shoot something. A pear gun. <laughs> a lychee. A lychee rock. <laughs> I did it too far. <laughs> Right. But I'd, I'd rather have had one of those wee, the wee uh, sweeties, the necklace. Oh, mate. Mate, oh, I mean, I mean, fuck gun. those, man. Yeah, dolly beads. Aye, the dolly those beads. Fucking they were, I take it, Joe was I, also a nightmare. I take it, it was up your blanket bag. Oh, yeah. Aye. Joe was also a nightmare in school. Mm. Wet paper towels. Yeah, yeah. They just Did get you... flung everywhere. See, mm. something about in my school was uh, coppers, like money. You weren't allowed. Because of Lainey? No. Mm. Because of people, they, they 
the two peas, people were like throwing them, just got them like, and just and I, I remember we did that, but it was yeah. gambling. Oh, I mean, no, but I'm talking like throwing it at full pelt, like randomly. I don't know, motherfuckers in school be like, "Why well, get my liney?" What? Ah, cool, and they go like that. Pounds or pounds? <laughs> no, we used to do that. Huh, I'll have two pounds for my lunch. <laughs> we used to do that. I'm like, the guys like, but you could end up before. Uh-huh. And you're like, oh, gambling. We used to do it with, um, when we finished our, no, I finished our uh, paper Remember round for the week. You get paid fourteen pound. You just play lining. That's big money for that way. That's big money, man. Fourteen I mean, quid a week though. You're seven days a week, two quid a day. Fourteen quid, and then but then you play lining. I think I got a fucking of time. But you were a hustler, man. Aye, Quavers you could buy. Like I don't. I, I don't. Lainey wasn't even that big. Uh, it wasn't. Was there another name for it? Nah. You, you'd have chingies as well, nah. which was different. Chingies. So that was like I you, think we you'd throw your coin down different. and then you had to try and chingy. So it was. It was. You would just had to try and tag the. Other oh coin. yeah, yeah. It, this is what they're playing in. Is there, there's a bit in the last dance where Jordan's playing with his staff before the game aye. and they're throwing the coins at the wall. Aye. 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 And, he's, and he's getting angry because they get one of the guys. You know, see before decent. Jordan played basketball. Where his first he was, was. He, was he played Liney. Liney. <laughs> <laughs> he, he went to UCLA. He, played he, was, Liney. he was in the NLA. No, it was Kirby. <laughs> Rugby. Kirby. Kirby. Mate, I watched. I saw a thing post last week, and it was uh, somebody, somebody teaching his his way how to play Kirby. Kirby's my I can't play it here though. We've not got Kirby's. See, yeah. some I've I've played Kirby in every iteration: basketball, rugby ball, flat football. Yeah, yeah football. Like so, you know those footballs are like fucked. Like all the uh, leathers oh, off mate. it. Yeah, basketballs are. That's a dangerous game. I like you though. The small basketball, big basketball. Lainey. I loved fucking remember, the fly, remember that flyaway Kirby. football aye that's Lapier, the early learning centre hanging yeah. alongside us a football you're just like west of Scotland you just boot things like Phew. yeah I remember you could buy a, a, you could buy a Kirby kit like for Argos and it was just oh, like yeah. two wee blocks of wood effectively I'm just going to be in queue and buy some wood that's a bit, that's that's a bit I mean I know you don't have curbs out there but it's just it's gonna it's a game that was born out of like in, ingenuity yeah, of like yeah. your environment that's you I can't wonder, play in my street we used to play it in my street and now you would, you would be dead. You would just there's so many cars. Ah, it's unreal. I man. wonder if Kirby was invented in Scotland. I wonder if Liney uh, was invented in Scotland. I think you'll probably find it's maybe like up and down the UK. They probably did have it, but it seems like a bit of a ghetto game, doesn't it? Like, ah, yeah, not getting, you're not getting many folk in New York are playing Kirby. No, no, no. I suppose, I suppose. But I mean, I know even in all those, like, I still get dead jealous when you see. New York, not New York. When you see America on TV and you be like, I, I would go on my skateboard, but every like every like foot does like a slab where ah, where a crack and a pothole. I and it's ah. just dudes so are just like running about. Because like, the roads are like pure crap, like yeah. stony. Yeah. But it's like even like ah, it's like Ramsey Street, man. Hey, move on to our last one. Yes, Let's please. Because I honestly think this has been a bit of a fucking shite run here of drinks. Oh, <laughs> and oh. now what guess who's back? We're talking the Witch of the West. Yeah. So we're back to His Germany. Strongest. We're back to Germany. The Witch of West Germany. Um, May actually be East Berlin. Club Mate Cola. Now, we, is it Club Matt? Club, Club Matte. Club Matte, I thought. Club Matte. Um, but, I mean, up there, I mean, I had this, like, this This to me is up there with Fritz Cola, um, which is currently top of the top. Of Are the you saying it it's, should be up there or in your experience you rate this as a top, top cola? I rate this as a top, top cola. I rate this right. top let me add, because I've never had this, but, so when we talk about Club Matt, Matty, yeah. Club was Matty. this, ash, this honking ashtray juice yeah. that everyone hates. So this is not Club uh. Matty and some cola, this is their cola. Yes. Okay. I think so anyway, I mean like. Could be Fritz though, no? It's so similar. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, ingredients, Matty tea extract. That's what I'm saying. Extracts. So there is, there is extracts but of the. is it just give it that smoke? Let's find out. Is there so, any danger that this is Fritz? Or no. the same company? No. The balls Fritz? Balls, not makes it No, balls. no, it's diff- different companies. Even it's the same it. ball, though. No, it's not. It's no, a, it's same not. as a bottle of Fritz ball. in the fridge, if you want to get it. It's David over there. Fuck, it doesn't matter. I'll take your word for it. Right, let's go. ASMR on the thing. Right. It's definitely got a sm- smoky. Mm. That's a good one. Dude, that's definitely got the funk in it. Like the funky Matty. You know what I'm saying? You know The funk has. shall mm-hmm. be within you. Shoot that right today. It does It does have a wee bit of it in it, but I believe it goes away. But it works in this. Mm-hmm. I like this, because I like those, those, uh, 
Coke mixer. The new I ones, don't the like smoky, smoky guys. Club Matt. Mm. I really like this. Yeah, Club Matt's too much. Club Matt is... Club Matt's barking. We've done it. We, we, I'll we make a need... statement. And I might need to reference my score because... No, I need reference and shoot for the heart. Shoot for the well, heart. Well, I'm not going to make a score, but... I... You need to make a score. This That's is the better, whole fucking this point. Better than Fritz to me. Ooh. This is better than Fritz. Fritz Ooh. is good for me, but it's like... I'd probably... I think this is actually better than Fritz. I'm not going to say, but I think mm. Fritz is in your top five. Mm. I think this may be better than Fritz. But that's just based on drinking three shiters in a row for me. Obviously, the cola game is very nuanced. No, See, when you think about how different that is to a McDade's. Yeah, you think of the four top colas that we have. Mm. Fritz, McDade's, Doritos, Toyin. Mm. This is caramel, isn't it? De- very, very different colas. This is... Do you know what this is like? Take a, I know what, a bit mental, but it's kind of got a weird caramelly, coconutty kind of vibes at the top, man. Yep. The aftertaste yep. is like it's light. Right, this is this is. Imagine taking a bounty, <laughs> but putting a layer of, like a layer of the Mars bar caramel in there. I mean, yeah. why they never done that? That'd be fucking class, caramel yeah. coconut. I'd do I'd, that. I'd put this on a level with Fritz, but. But you can't remember your first call. No, so. no, I'm, I stand by that. Gerito, like, I've got a tattoo on me. I still stand by that. Doritos is the, my favorite cola. This is where I'm. This is where I'm struggling because I don't remember my scores and I don't want to do this as a disservice. So there's the only safe way. But do wait, it. wait, wait, wait bef- bef- before you score it, <laughs> we actually talked about this and like how on a different day, on a yeah, different yeah, mood, yeah. Yeah, yeah, after yeah. a different level of hunger, or depending on what you drank before it, you could give something a different score. But they just need to be scored. As I know. Maybe, I will do it. maybe the move is. Once we've decided we're fucking done with us, whenever that is, because we can't do this forever, can we? Yeah, can't do this podcast in the fucking nineties. We, but we, we should def- have the ultimate playoffs. Yeah, the, mm. do we do the bracket challenge? The, bracket, the top, the top sixteen go like head to head again, man. Yeah, um, I'll Mortal come in. Combat? I'll come in straight off the bat with this. Somebody must die. Four point one. Okay. Four point one. Um, I, fuck, I, I, it's scary, man. Because now we're in. Now we're in contention. Because I was thinking north of four. In my head, I'm saying this is... I'm thinking to myself, this is definitely better than Fritz. The real question in my head, I'm, do I like this better than McDade's? That's the question in my head. Because McDade's for me is the front runner. That's my shirt. I mean, do you know what I'd look it's, forward... It's better than a McDade's call about Do you know what I would look forward to doing? The cola episode. Where we bring them all back. Mm. Like, because there's some mm. unbelievable colas we've done. And this is so exciting. I think cola. I know what it is. He loves cola. I do. <clears throat> I think my heart's telling me and it's my throat is... <laughs> Your throat's also trying to tell me. It's got a layer of caramel. Caramel? It's a 4.3 from me. <laughs> this, is, this is good. This is up my street. This is dangerous territory we're in right scenes, now. scenes, man. Dangerous territory. Mm. I wasn't expecting this, to be honest. I wasn't expecting this to maybe go quite as... as well as it's went. Cola's cola and then it has to do its own yeah. its spin. But this... This, this bad boy's... Uh, it's talking to me and it's saying now mm. oh, we could be friends. See where you're thinking of this. I'm going to. I need to do something quite important. Right, mate. Well, if you can, don't flush it till we stop recording. It's just like I think. I think it is. It's necessary. Oh, that, that this, that this is done. But did we lose it? We lost a camera. We lost a camera. We lost, we lost camera. just one camera. But we just keep yeah, it moving. Just, yeah, we but we, keep, we keep moving. But but I just think it was. I think it was going to be potentially necessary that we had that camera <clears> back for your score coming up. Can I get that camera? Hi, mum. <laughs> In your big cinema room. There you go. Uh, for me, we can go back to this one. Um, I think my heart was saying. 4.2 or 3 you know it was and then I was like well maybe 4.25 <laughs> you can't do you that you can't do that and I was like you know, so I need to round up or down I need one again oh it's just dangerous now because now I'm like I know I'm putting it somewhere high oh this, this is getting launched man. I'll be honest based on the scores you've given us I don't think it makes a difference to what the final score is mm. talk to the people 4.2. Whoa. 4.2. It's big. <clears throat> so that gives McDade's. So oh, sorry. Whoa, sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. That gives Club <laughs> Matt, Matty, Mate Cola. It gives it its final score. 
four point two. Our first ever four point two. That's going straight to the top. That's knocking stuff off of the top. Say it into your camera. Hall of Fame. Four point two. Your camera. What do you say? It's wow. your fucking cash race. What is my cash race? The fucking straight to the top. I go straight to the top, Paddy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll try again. I'll fix it in post. <laughs> nah, mate. I'll, uh, I'll head one. I'll try as we Gary. Do as we Gary. We're going, we're going straight to the top. <laughs> Let's just go straight to the top. So, 4.2. First ever 4.2. I'm gobsmacked. I'll be honest. See if you were to put everything. Whose fault is that? Ow. If you big Remy's. If you were to put all of everything that's on the, the Hall of Fame right now mm. together and tell me which of those you think is going to be top, mm. I don't think I'd have chose Club Matt Cole. But. There's a reason you know what though, filter. but it's had its Tyson day. Like, it's, just a, nah. it's been a good day for Club Matt. I just think like it, it, look where Fritz is, and it's be, I think it's better than Fritz mm. because it's just doing something different. I mean, it is what it is. It's we have a new the a champ, new, a new right. champ, and no, undisputed, undisputed champ at the moment. So wait, 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 wait. This is the highest scoring drink. That ever. is the highest scoring drink ever. Triple filter. Did you sneak a burp out there when you did that? I did, we had a burp. <laughs> the burp Just went... Just kidding, no, it was a... Wow. The burp went low-key, but I was like... <laughs> think about that. Uh, Unbelievable I, stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm I buzzing for that. That's, that's that's a big change-up. Um, we're going to need to reshuffle what up there. Is, and... What is still in the Club Mate range that's not appeared on the show? Mm. There's the, no, there's the coffee cola. We, we couldn't secure coffee that. Coffee one. The coffee yeah. cola. We haven't secured that. Uh, and then there's another one. They do have another one, but I can't quite remember mm. it. I don't know. Okay. Um, but I mean, there's still some... One end to the show. There's still some big drinks to come up. And we've got one more episode before the live show. Mm. Uh, and some heat at that live show. Some some drinks that could challenge Club Me. I mean, we've still got some big drinks to come up on the next episode as well. So, I mean, you never know. But you never you never even know. Like, I mean, sometimes you just, some get some things you get high expectations because of the pedigree of... The, the lineage of the brand Aye. and then other guys just sneak in the back door and choke you out man and they're like ah, that top spot that's mine what are you taking on the road? no, no danger it's called Club Mac Cola bubble gum in it <laughs> <laughs> do you know weirdly like just now and it's because I can see outside and it's sunny mm. I think I'd still go to enjoy the Ulodag mm. I mean I, and that's maybe because I've not had much of this the Club the Club Mac Cola the Club is, the club is fire man. I've good. got a case of that down the stairs so I don't really mind it we're not doing friends of the podcast because people aren't they liking not even or leaving us reviews, giving us five stars on Apple Podcasts. We need that because then, well, it's really just for our own egos, the people yeah. we can get up and listen. More listeners means more drinks. Means we'll keep doing it. Maybe we'll even more live shows. Maybe mm-hmm. even more live shows. Anyway, Apple Podcasts, five star reviews. Could two producers sitting there who could actually just bump up our reviews right now if they want to. <laughs> And then we can read them out on Friends of the Podcast. <laughs> anyway. But that, that's YouTube it. as well. Aye, that's it for another episode. Though. Make sure you're uh, liking us on all the social channels at Five Star Sodas. Uh, YouTube, Please Instagram, like us. all of them. Leave us some comments. Let us know how class this is. Uh, but we'll be back next week. Unless you're getting nails. Nah. Nah. We're we'll getting Nelson next week. Uh, he's getting Nelson next week. <laughs> Just come out next week if you get uh, Nelson. And uh, we'll be back next week with episode 24, which means the week after that will be episode 25, which will be the live show. Uh, so thanks for joining us. Thank See you. you. Then.